Good evening, Stephen Friedson, 2044 West Oak, Denton, Texas. I think there are two issues here that I'd like to separate, but of course they're interrelated. One is the zoning issue. And more than once we've been down at the council and we've had developers come in who have bought property in a certain zoning category and then requested a zoning change to increase density and increase profit. And I think as uh, members of the community, we understand that. But we do have a code that was put in place for a reason. And I think variances and changes to that code involve some kind of compelling reason to increase density uh, in a current zoning. There is one reason this developer wants a change in zoning, and that is to make more money. And that's fine. That's part of what developers do. However, the case here does not justify that zoning change. It's just plain illogical from what they have said themselves. According to the map, if they do not get the three well sites, they're going to build NR2. That's what they've said. So why, if they are going to do that and they get the surface rights to the three well sites, why don't they continue to develop that as NR2? Then they come back and tell us, well, if they don't get the well sites, they aren't going to really develop that, the rest of that and increase density as NR3. That makes absolutely no sense, to me at least, that uh, that's what would happen. If they get a change in the zoning, absolutely it's going to be developed into a much more increased density. The other issue is the fact that if this council allows this change to increase density, we're putting 113 more families at risk. We are sending a message to the rest of our community through your actions that we consider that economic development more important than the safety and health of our citizens in, in this town. It's outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous that they can build NR2 around five well sites. But I understand there's nothing we can do about it. But to pass a change in that ordinance and let them increase the amount of families that live there is unconscionable. There is no way this developer is going to go out there and promote this site as this is a brand new development and let me tell you there are five well sites right near it. It's going to be wonderful. They will suppress, as they have said, as much as possible any information they can about this well site because they know that when people find out about this or did find out about it, they're not going to buy or be uh, beyond concerned about this. So I'm urging you to do the minimum that you can tonight, and that is deny this request for a zoning change for all of Denton to set some kind of precedent about how we feel about gas wells in proximity to uh, residential areas. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember Gregory has a question. Just to make sure that you understand, you realize that if it stays in R2, we cannot compel any way to notify home buyers in the NR2 setting that there's a gas well within 1,200 feet, but by the change to an NR3, we can require some notice. I would think, I don't know the law, but I would think that the council could pass some kind of restrictions that would require um, some kind of notification. In answer to that question, when you hear them say, and I've gone through title searches before, that if they have that on a title search, they're not going to be able to get a title. I mean, that, I think, says something about the danger that we're talking about here. I would hope the council would be able to notify families. So what happened at Vintage would not happen again. But what you're going to do is send a message out to the rest of the community that you feel it is OK to increase density around, residential density around gas wells. That's what your vote will do tonight, irregardless of everything else. 
So I urge you to reject this proposal. Thank you. Next speaker is Kathy McMullen. <laughs> 